So this turned way more into what are good free plugins that you can download. Check this out, guys. This entire mix, except for one plugin, is completely free. Freeware, donationware, not a penny was spent on the plugins and the instruments here, except for the bass, and I'll tell you why. So when I wanted to do this video about free plugins and stuff, I wanted to make it very strict. No third-party installers, no third-party rappers, stuff like Contact Player. And I found really good instruments for everything except bass. Uh, bass, this is the only premium uh, plugin on this entire mix, I'm fumbling my keys here, and I am using Singularity uh, by Spectre Digital, precisely because, again, no third party rappers, just download and use. So there you go. But everything else you've heard on this mix, totally free, donationware, that's it, nothing. Everything, even the master chain. So this uh, free plugin video was turned into a big rabbit hole that I went down, and I actually have a pretty cool announcement, but that's later on in the video. Let's talk about the plugins. The very first thing I want to talk about here, uh, in my quest to find free drums that didn't have a wrapper or an installation manager, we came upon really MT Power Drum Kit 2. And it turns out that this kit really lends itself to metal productions quite well. Uh, it has a really snappy snare sound. And if you use the compressor, you can change the tonality, of, tonality of, of it a little bit. Same with the kick drum. But really nicely, it has pretty good symbols and the ride symbol is very articulate um, i was extremely surprised and if you take the time to program your drums correctly and you really get in here and program correctly you can get very realistic sounding drums and i added a drum room to make them even bigger I'm sorry, that'll rival a lot of premium paid uh, drum software plugin uh, in the market. I was very surprised with that. Uh, and the and the hi-hat, um, I'll talk about the hi-hat in a minute here, but the ride symbol's quite nice. Very impressed. Uh, the weak spots of this are gonna be the hi-hat, very washy sounding, especially the open articulation. Unfortunately, it's a bit washy, but uh, it's, you know, for completely free donationware, this is incredible. And like I said, it rivals some of the paid products that you can buy out there. So if you have no budget and you want to program drums, you want to get started programming drums to see if this is really for you or, you know, if you don't if you want to pay someone else like me to do it, M MT Power Kit, man, it, it's legit. And it handles processing quite well. Everything is it's really processed already, so all you need to do is shape it for your mix. But man, it's that's a big thumbs up for me. I was really I was really surprised with it. The second amazing plugin is TDR Molotok. You guys probably won't be surprised to see TDR here, but I I had never tried any of the free TDR plugins ever, and Molotok is amazing. Now it's a light version of Molot, uh, hammer, little hand. So Molot. Hammer or big hammer, Molotov, small hammer in Russian. But it it does it's a great workhorse compressor. And there's a couple of key features here that I think will be amazing for new for newer mixers out there. Let me get the session here. So watch the compressor. Look at it. Look at all this amazing information for especially new people who might be struggling with this attack and release and a, and threshold thing. Look at all the visual res representation that we have here. Here is the gain reduction. Just the session here real quick so I can press play and talk about it. Look at the interface. Look at all this information that you have. I particularly really enjoyed seeing that this makeup game, if you look really close right here, you can see the makeup meter moving back and forth. So you can actually visually see how much you would need to set the makeup knob to set the plugin output exactly as what it was on the input. But you can have the compressed thing at the same volume 
uh, as it was before compression and after compression. This is a big thing that a lot of new mixers, myself included, forget to do. You know, they do the compression, they're like, oh, it's not louder anymore. And then they go into the, the volume fader and try to turn the signal up again. When in the plugin, there's a makeup gain right on it that you're supposed to use, you know, for the output so you can set the, uh, the, the output of the signal to what it was pre-compression. Being able to see where your signal is coming in, this is pretty standard. But seeing just this interact interaction in the GUI, so you have all this information so you can make good decisions on how to do things, and seeing exactly how much your signal is getting moved and how much gain reduction you're doing, this is a really nice plugin for new mixers or people who are still a little bit eh, when it comes to compression. They have a nice visual representation of how to use it. I think it'll just make it a little bit easier for you to use the plugin, and it has even uh, side chains, so you can bring in the dry mix into it. There are, I've paid money for plugins specifically just to have a, a, a mix knob on it, you know what I mean? So to have this be completely free, a great addition to have, it's a good workhorse compressor. On this mix, I used it on the snare, uh, some of the drums, uh, the use them all over on on the uh, the vocals. So for a free plugin, it's really nice. Even for a light version, there's still a lot of functionality in here that makes it very usable. And obviously, you know, the point is like they make a very good product, you know, and then you go, oh, I really like that. What's the big brother of it? So Malort, ah, oh, great. So I like TDR, Molotok was awesome. I'm gonna go get Malort. And so it it's, makes sense marketing wise, but you have to have a good plugin first. And TDR Molotok, great workhorse compressor. I really like it and I'm probably gonna keep using it if I'm totally honest with you. The next plugin is G Clip. This thing is 10 years, over 10 years old. This is not new, but I think people forget about this. And there was a very interesting video that came out a couple of years ago. A channel by the name of Raytown Productions did a video where he was basically like, uh, G Clip, this other paid plugin, this other paid plugin, this other paid plugin. They all like null out and use the same algorithm. So, eh. I mean, I never, I don't have all the plugins to test myself, but it was a pretty thorough video and it just was like, okay. So if you, again, don't have the budget and you absolutely need a clipper, if you're going to do anything metal these days, have to have one. G clip is what you need. Very simple. Just sit, you know, like press play again. Here we got like a... press play again you see the waveform there you can bring down the clip basically to the top of the highest peak so you, you can like uh even out the signal that you're going to be using to add gain to add a little bit of gain and you add that fatness back into your mix you can do it on the master channel you can do it on the snare you can do it on the kick you can do it wherever you want but clipping uh it's you know especially in the last five eight ten years has really become a thing and it's one of the you know the secrets to getting one of those big fat mixes uh by the way as a side note if you're gonna get g clip you definitely should get g tune this is an amazing tuner hands down love it i actually use this more than i use lock on and i pay 20 bucks for lock on to get rid of the ads but now that i'm back on windows i've gone right back to g tune awesome free awesome the next plugin here is DDMF Endless. I got to get a give a shout out to a Discord member, Fama Fama. Sorry buddy, I don't know how to Fama. Fama Fama Fama. He is the one that posted this actually in the plugin discussion part of our Discord group. He's like, "Guys, check this out. It's a really cool reverb." And I looked at it and I was like, "Wow, this is an amazing reverb because a lot of you know that my go-to reverb especially for atmosphere and black metal is going to be the even tied black hole. The reason for that is because you can always add interesting modulation and movement to the reverb so you can, you know, like make it sparkly or just make it more interesting than just a standard plain old ass reverb, which is still cool. But there really was never a free variant that, you know, made sense without, ab you know, wasn't as easy to use. Enter DDMF Endless. I'm not going to call this a, a, a black hole exact type of plugin, but as you see here, you can adjust everything that you would expect, you know, for reverb size, length, and pre-delay. But here's the sound effects panel. You can detune it, you can shift it, you can make a more sparkly tone, and you can detune the ship. This is exactly what I'm talking about, creating interesting sounding reverbs where, you know, in uh, black metal, when you need to create this big atmospheric soundscape, you typically want to have something interesting 
And this was a reverb that I used in this mix. Really enjoyed it. I just used it to sort of um, add some atmosphere into the lead, lead melody parts. Really enjoyed using this. I'm going to experiment more with this, but it's freaking ridiculous, guys, what's happening in 2024. Like, I'm just blown away, actually, at how many amazing free plugins there are on the market. I, it took me forever to, like, decide when I wanted to use and what I wanted to talk about. But, yeah, great reverb. DDMF Endless. Definitely check it out. All right, the next one, man, a lot of you guys probably know about Ig9 Amps because of the STL Emissary bundle on STL Tones where they have the Emissary 2.0 bundled with the NAD IR. And you may have just like kind of stopped right there like, oh yeah, Ig9 Amps, cool. Ig9 Amps, actually, if you go to their website, they have a ton of free plugins geared towards guitar, bass, and this. I remember when this plugin came out. I did a video about it when it released. This is pretty much a pool tech style. I'll go like this. And you can see by the design here, it's quite obvious what it is. And it's an amazing plugin to have because you can do the pool tech esque EQ character moves. Pool tech are amazing on drums, and guys, metal guys like Cola will use them on snare drum all the time uh, to add more uh, excitement into the upper end of the snare. Also, you can use it as a coloring EQ. I used it on guitar here because I didn't really look for a free API analog as it per se i was just like yeah i like the pteq i'm going to use that and the thing about this is you have you can do the mid so you have the the you can boost these frequency you can do the mid cut which is very important but here's the magic right here you can boost the high frequencies you know of your symbols of your snare and in this case i'm doing it on the snare at 8k pretty classic cola move but the interesting addition here is they've added tube saturation into this EQ so you can add some more coloration and excitement to the EQ that you're doing so just more color and analog character I suppose but this is this is a plugin that has gone completely under the radar this is a fantastic pull tech style plugin no reason not to have it I uh, used it all over this mix really it's great Justin big announcement dirt, 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 dirt. here it is. so here it is in doing this video, I went down a giant rabbit hole and I learned so many things about mixing and rediscovered things that I had forgotten. And I realized, or I should say, I stumbled upon literally what the pros do, how they get great mixes every single time. It used to piss me off when a guy's like, yeah, yeah, give a pro, just give him some stock and free plugins. He'll turn out a great mix every single time. And I thought like, yeah, really? Will he really? Proof is in the pudding, guys. This Oath of Tear, that that mix is the probably one of the best mixes of my entire career. And to think that I did it with not only free plugins, but basically free instruments blows my fucking mind. So I have itemized everything that I've done. I've itemized my working flow. I, itemi I itemized all the questions I asked. I itemized how I went back and forth in the mix, making decisions, how I listened, what I was listening for, what I analyzed, and how I did it before I even started mixing. Because I realized the biggest mistake I was still making was that I was way more concerned about what my fucking compression settings were. And it doesn't matter. That's not the point. I was completely not seeing the forest for the trees. And... Getting this result completely reignited my passion for mixing. It, it, it has completely changed me as a mixer, as a person, how I view this work, how I view this art, art form, and I'm going to do a live workshop about it. So as you can see here on the page, Mixing Metal Live Workshop, it's this Saturday, April 20th, 9 p.m. Central Euro, excuse me, it's Central European time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. It's 25 bucks to register. You're going to get... PDFs, uh, cheat sheets, my entire mixing workflow, itemized, uh, all the questions to ask yourself when you're working, uh, methods for EQing literally correctly because there is a method, how you should EQ, the type of questions that you should be asking yourself, what you're actually listening for, how to compare, how to make decisions, because that's the key. That's why a pro mixer, whatever you give him, will make a great mix because his brain will still ask the same questions. He'll just use the tools that everybody has to make a great mix. I'm just blown away at this result and I want to share it with you guys. Now, if you can't make the live mix or the live workshop, I should say, it doesn't matter. You should still register because I am going to make the VOD available for, you know, for later people who can't make it right now or have other things, but the VOD's going to be $75, okay? So even if you can't make the live stream, register anyway because then you can get everything for just 25 bucks. After that, it'll be 75 bucks, okay? And obviously, during the live stream, ask me questions. 
Ask questions about what you're doing. Ask questions about where you struggle. Hang out. Have a good time. I am incredibly excited to do this live workshop when I decided to do it again because the mixing metal wizardry uh, t uh, workshop was so much fun and so successful in that I got to interact with you directly and ask and, and answer a lot of your questions and talk to you. And by the way, a lot of people love that workshop. You can just go on the reviews on my website. A lot of people haven't left reviews, but there's... Uh, Quite a few reviewers already. Check it out. And obviously, you guys know me from Spectre Academy. I've done a bunch of courses, all highly rated. I don't think I have a single course below 4.5 stars. You know, so I really love what I'm doing, and I want to show it to you guys. So that's the big announcement, guys. This Saturday, 25 bucks. Link below. Register. Even if you can't make it, just register anyway, because you're going to be saving 50 bucks and getting a crap ton of content and and showing you exactly how I made the mix here. So yeah, that's the big announcement. So let's move on to the next plugin. The ADHD Audio Tools Leveling Tool. This is sort of like an LA-2A. Uh, it's a bit dirtier. You can, add, you can add some more drive here, which is what I did specifically for the bass tone to make it fatter, a bit more full in the mix. But I particularly wanted to use this one because I use the LA-2A all the time on vocals. You know, I, that's kind of like one of the standard vocal compressors. So I wanted to try like a free ver a free variant of it. So the ADH, the audio tools leveling tool, I use this on the bass, I use it on all of the vocals and it freaking crushes. It's really nice. You've got a dry wet knob here. Like I say, you've got parallel here so you, you can um, you know roll off frequencies so the compressor doesn't react to them. Freaking amazing. And the drive knob here, which I really enjoy. But otherwise, it, it's very similar to the LA-2A. It's just easy to use. Two knobs, bam, bam, listen to what's happening. Uh, really great plugin. I was surprised to see also that it's like from 2018. It's been around for a long time. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it anywhere. And they're still developing it. They're still giving updates. So great plugin. It's just I'm running out of words, right? I'm just, I'm literally so shocked how many great plugins there are in this day and age. It's ridiculous. You know, coming from 2004 where it was true that your stock plugins were not that good and digital plugins in general were, eh, it's pretty amazing what technology is doing now. So next plugin. All right, you guys probably won't be too surprised at this, but we have the Kotelnikov here, the TDR Kotelnikov mastering compressor. And really that was going to be the thing here because it's like, okay, you can do a mix, right? You can do it. Yeah. But can you master with free plugins? And yes, you can. As you can see here, I have just a stock EQ just to do a little bit of extra tone shaping to the mix. G clip, completely free. We already talked about that. And a mastering compressor, completely free, which would then go into into the limiter here, which we're not we haven't gotten to yet. But the whole point with this, I didn't want to do anything crazy. I just wanted to be like, okay, can I do like super bare bone mastering settings? And is it gonna destroy my mix? And the answer is no. No, not at all, actually. And for being free, there are so many options here, actually, that I had to open up the fucking manual and be like, what does that do? What, what am I supposed to do here? What's this for? And I was totally impressed. All the functionality that you have here for free. It's, it's ridiculous. So basically for the mixing, I just wanted to do like 2 or 3D overall compression and put it into the limiter. That's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to do anything crazy. And it works. It glues the mix together nicely. You know, like, listen to this. You just hear how the mix is sucked together and glued together. And I think that's because of the stereo sensitivity. You know, I still, I still need to read up and, and use this plugin more. But it's, it's blowing my mind, guys, that I'm sitting here going, I think, I think I'm going to keep using this plugin. I really like it. So obviously, let's just go right into the limiter then. Loud Max. This has been around for since, I don't know, you might not even have been born. Uh, it's this old. I think people are teenagers now when this plugin came out. And it's so dead simple. It's so simple to use. Um, I know I found this plugin out because Glenn recommended it. And a lot of people like on my Discord have recommended it. I was also looking at a plugin called Limiter Number 6 from Vladislav Benchadov, which was cool. But it just felt way more complicated to use. It was just like, eh, what am I doing here? I just want a limiter. I just want to limit my mix. 
And that's exactly what I, I've done here. The, the limiter number six was nice. And I know Glenn Cricker really loves that limiter too. I think he featured it on one of his uh, courses, I think the, the Reaper one or whatever. Uh, so I'm not talking badly about it. I just wanted something super simple, just literally like, uh, okay, done. Um, and that's, yeah, that's what we have. So the Loudmax, fantastic plugin, been around forever, at least 15 years. So great plugin, definitely should have it in your arsenal. All right, this one's also been around for a long time. If you really liked to use the L1 limiter from Waves, and we all remember what Waves did last summer. I think it was last summer. Anyway, we all remember what Waves did. So you should have W1 limiter just because. Uh, it's pretty much a clone of the L1, and it does the exact same stuff. So I used L1 all the time, you know, for the guitar stuff. You know, it's the uh, Joel Wanasek trick, L1 for your guitars. And But now I just use the W1 limiter. It's literally the same thing, does the exact same thing. So W1 limiter is a clone of L1 limiter. There you go. And the last one I'm going to talk about in this video is actually the dust analyzer. I've been using this one for years. I love this analyzer. And when I went to using Mac actually a couple of years ago for a little while, I was pissed because I couldn't use dust analyzer. I was like, damn it. I freaking love this plugin. I want to use it. I just, I, it speaks to me. This one makes the most amount of sense when I look at it. I just go, oh yeah, okay, I get it. And I love this plugin. So it's by Signal Dust, uh, Dust Analyzer. It's so simple. You just press play. You know, you, you like me personally, I'll change it to the dark mode and then I'll turn the peak on and I'll just play the song and I'll pretty much get like the RMS here and I'll just go, okay, what's going on? And you can even diagnose peaks because you can just be like, what's going on here? Okay, something at 160. Hmm. And then you can go back into your mix and listen and go, yeah, what's what might be doing this? What's happening? Is there a buildup somewhere? Or it's not a problem at all. But anyway, I really love this one because of this right here. This line where I'm basically showing you is minus 20 dB. And this is always a really good indication if you're getting good enough low end in your overall mix, where if this is pretty much coming up to tw minus 20 dB, you're doing pretty good with low end. And I just... I got so used to seeing it like that that it became my favorite analyzer and one of the first plugins I downloaded again when I went back to Windows was Dust Analyzer. Now very quick, just because I know you guys are curious, the other free plugins that I used for guitars, it's Ignite Am Emissary, guys. It's all Ignite Emissary, okay? All free. These are ca Catharsis IRs, been free for like a decade. Nothing here except the bass um, by Spectre Digital. Nothing else is premium. It's completely, nearly freeware donationware mix. And I'll play a little bit more so you guys can hear it. So yeah, man, that's the result of the mix. And I didn't play that guitar solo. That's by my good buddy Tomo, the Tominator, as I've called him, because he is just slaps us with his scrotum every time he plays guitar. He's an amazing guitar player. Uh, we've collaborated quite a bit. But yeah, that's the mix. That's the result. So yeah, man, not only are those really good free mixing uh, plugins for mixing metal, but you can absolutely, totally, 100% achieve a ridiculously amazing mix using free plugins, all right? Hey guys, click the link below, sign up for the workshop. I'll see you very soon. Later.